Okay, dokey. So for my purposes, I'm stretching SolidWorks, I'm stretching Chrome a little bit, and I'm stretching Katia so that they're all full screen. Um, the problem there is you can't have Chrome as like a half tab. So if you have it as a half, like this, and you go and switch into the Chrome scene, it will try to stretch it. Obviously that's not what you want. Um, for my purposes though, I will always be using all of my screens full size. Um, so SolidWorks, Chrome, and Katia will always be full size, and I'll switch um, what program I'm using with my bar down here, which won't show up in my recorded video. So that's not important for me, but for automatically switching, because if I'm on Chrome and I click on SolidWorks, I want the SolidWorks tab to automatically open like so. So these should switch on their own. OBS comes with an automatic scene switcher. The problem with theirs is that the title has to match. So if you set it up using um, part one and you click on SolidWorks down here and go to part three or something, it won't switch from Chrome to SolidWorks because you didn't switch to part one. So if you're making new parts in your video, this this just doesn't work. There is a more advanced version called the Advanced Scene Switcher that someone made. So if we look here, so you'll want to tip the back arrow. So Google OBS Advanced Scene Switcher. It's this one here, OBS Project Advanced Scene Switcher 1.20.5 OBS Studio. Click that guy. You'll get this. This is the GitHub for it. Well, no, it's not. This is just a page for it. So you'll want to click Go to Download. Then it'll take you to the GitHub. And you'll want to scroll down. And I used Advanced Scene Switcher Windows 64 bit installer exe. Just click that, run it, restart OBS, and you'll have. Let's put that back. You will have this guy. Nope, you'll have this guy. Advanced Scene Switcher. So if you click on that, this is the general tab. This is where you can turn the scene switcher on and off. Um, this is how you set up what you want it to do. So this is your condition statement. This is your action statement. So I set up this macro. So macro one, I say if process, and then you hit, you'll have a drop down here where you can click any of your programs like Katia, e, 3D Experience EXE, or I selected SolidWorks. So we'll say if process SolidWorks is running, and then you want to check this here and is focused. So the in focused means whichever tab is actually in the foreground. So like if I click on SolidWorks right now, SolidWorks would come up into the foreground, or if I click on Google Chrome, Google Chrome comes up in the foreground, or OBS, etc., etc. So you will want to have this box checked so that it only happens if you're in focus. And then you'll want to hit the plus down here, or to get this to pop up, you also need to hit the plus. Um, and then down here on your action pad, you want to hit the plus and do a scene switch, switch scene, and then switch scene to SolidWorks this guy using and then slide point two seconds is just the default and this is also just default so what this will do is if you click on the SOLIDWORKS process and make it focused this will happen so it'll switch switch scene to SOLIDWORKS using this so I have one set up for Chrome EXE and 3D experience at EXE and with this guy it doesn't matter what name of tab you click on or what part you use it will just switch to this guy you do want to make sure that on your um so let's say let's pretend this is the 3d experience one you do want to go to properties and make sure it says match title otherwise find window of same type or executable. I mean, they pretty much work the same. 
but you do need to have that. Only problem will come up if you have this set to window title must match. So you just want to make sure that you have that selected, which I went over earlier. But in general, all you have to worry about is selecting SOLIDWORKS EXE and it will just function. Now, if you wanted to add the functionality of being able to use Google Chrome in like a half sized window, you could set up another scene called Chrome half size that would not stretch Chrome. You could set it to not stretch. And what you could do is add another statement in this condition, which I set up a mockup one. So let's give us a little more room here. So this is, come on. Okay, so the other thing just slept. There it is, okay. So this now, you would have it say, if process 3D experience, so let's just pretend that says Chrome. Yeah, I don't wanna look at that list. Eh. Chrome. I don't see Chrome. Probably because I already have it selected. Okay. So you'll. I don't know what that is. Okay. No, no, that's important. What you want to do is set up this extra um, statement down here. You want to say and, and then select window, and then you can select your Google Chrome window. Again, just pretend this says Google Chrome. And you can say is full screen or is maximized. So by checking this box means it's focused, maximized. So that means that this statement will only be true if Chrome is in focus and maximized. So that could be set up to switch the scene to, let's say, Chrome full size. And you could have a second one of these that says if process Chrome is running focused and window is not maximized, then go to Chrome half size or Chrome not stretch or however you want to do it. But I think for the purposes of what we do, I don't think that's important, but I figured I might as well make the video now while I still know how it works. But for our purposes, just using these always in full size seems like the better option anyway. So what we'll want is to simply set up the macro to look exactly like this screen for SOLIDWORKS, exactly like this one for Chrome, and exactly like this one for Katia, and any other applications that you want to be able to switch automatically to. And then you'll just hit this start button. And then what happens is instead of, instead of automatically, or instead of having to click SOLIDWORKS, Chrome, or Katia, if I click on SOLIDWORKS itself, now SOLIDWORKS will be recording at full screen without showing the bottom taskbar or messages or anything. I can then go down to my bar on the bottom and click Katia and it'll just switch for me. Or I can click, click Chrome and it just switches to Chrome. So that makes it so that whether I use SOLIDWORKS, different parts in SOLIDWORKS, I don't have anything else open, but different parts in SOLIDWORKS, Katia, or Chrome, it just automatically, OBS will switch for me automatically. And to stop that, you can just come and hit stop. And then now it's inactive. Oop. Oh, okay. Don't want to exit. And then If I turn that off, then I'll have to manually switch between these. But for my purposes, I like the automatic, the advanced automatic scene switcher. I think it makes everything look nicer and 
that's about it.